Hi everybody I'll be here again and welcome to my channel. By the way for today's video we'll be customizing a doll into an Ursa Scarlet, a character of fairy tale. And before we proceed please do not forget to click the like and the subscribe button if you liked the video. Thank you. Ta-da! We else will be using one doll. Use whatever you like and some fabric, some dang, as well as glue. And uh, also for this doll, I tried to remove the factory paint on the face, you know, but it won't take off. By the way, it has a nice set of eyes, so I just leave it like that. And for the design, I saw online some designs, and then I'll be incorporating some design as well. Uh, unique. Now for the boots, I'll be using stretch fabric. This stretch fabric is normally used among uh, cycling shorts and whatnot. And I just stitch it uh, directly to the doll. And then after stitching, stitching the fabric, I'll be cutting off the excess. Also, for the sole of the boots in the Ursa, I'll be using hot glue for this. And then, once I have the enough volume, trim it into a shape of boot or ng sole of boots. And then, um, soften the or smoothen the surface using the hot glue gun stick. Once done, um, we'll be painting it with uh, black using black enamel paint and then let it dry. And uh, do not forget to make another pair. For the inside garment, I'll be using a fabric which is normally used um, in, in making some jerseys. What I did is just make a pattern first and then, oh by the way it's a pattern of a one piece swimsuit and then cut the fabric using the pattern. After cutting the pattern, what I did is stitch the sides, both sides long. Uh, I didn't stitch the bottom part because um, I'll be stitching it on the final doll or when I'll fit, the uh, fit it in the final doll. And now for the skirt, we'll uh, pleat the skirt in the Ursa. We'll be using this fabric. This fabric is a retaso ng old pants ko that I cut into a short. And the dimension is uh, 42 by 8 cm. After cutting, I just stitch it sa ang upper part. Uh, I I run told on running stitch ba but anyway I stitch it like that and then make sure the back part ng skirt niya is unstitched or loosened para may suit ko and anyway I'll be stitching it once I'll dress the Barbie model For the hair of Ursa Scarlet, I'll be making um, her hair using yarn. So for this um, project, uh, I use four batch of yarn, and this is how I make it.
and for the armor we'll be using an, a use folder by the way making this armor I don't have a specific pattern I what I did is just try and error make my own pattern and then try it on the Ursa if it fits up if it's not so it's all about estimation and then after that painted it with gray and as well as a yellow a oh, happy yellow flat paint the elbow I use a stretch of fabric and also painted the hands as gloves for the stand I use a pie board and a metal hanger and here is our finished product our Ursa Scarlet of Fairy Tale. I hope you like it like I do and if you do like this video please do not forget to click on subscribe and the like button and if you do have some comments or suggestions please leave some on the comment section below again this is Epi Palaboy I'll see you around guys